I'm Deanna Lynn and thank you for joining me on my journey into the raw. This is my very first video uh, into the raw and I'm going to be making an epic smoothie recipe. Uh, it's the green, actually I'm still thinking of the name, let's just get to it right now. <laughs> Um, I know, it's a green berry mint zinger. <laughs> Alright, and what we have here are strawberries, oranges, spinach, ginger, mint, it's fresh from the yard, avocado, also fresh from the yard, and, and a bit of water. So, let's get started. This here is uh, my awesome ghetto blender. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to just put these berries in with the greens on them. Because this is a green smoothie, and so what better way to get more greens in than just, you know, going with nature and leaving the greens on. Ding! Wowee, that's a lot of berries, so I'm going to take a couple out. Alright. Now the mint here, you see, you can just like pull it off the stem like that. I'm going to use a small handful, which was, as you can see, on that sprig there. Um, I have three oranges two of which I've already cut up, and one right now, which I'm going to show you exactly how they got the orange into that particular condition. They just basically shave off the ends. And then go around the sides. Oop. Sort of in the same way. It's a lot easier than peeling. And a lot quicker. More efficient. Alright. So we got our three oranges in there. It's a lot of orange. I know. The best avocados in the world. Straight from my own personal backyard tree. And I hope this is good to go here. Ooh. You know, I may just, just a second. <laughs> just gonna resort to pre-cut avocado from yesterday. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do this, but since we have a shortage of avocado at the moment that's ripe, I will just go for it. <laughs> so, a little bit of avocado in there. Now, I, I put I love putting bananas in smoothies, but since this smoothie involves, <clears throat> involves the oranges, I am not going to put banana because apparently they don't combine well with oranges. So the next best thing is avocado because basically it gives the same effect as a banana would in, in making a smoothie kind of creamy and yummy like that. And it's really essential excellent fat which uh, we all need the good stuff like that particularly myself <laughs> okay and I have about one cup of cold water here pour that in ginger Okay, now I really like, this is the zing, this is the zing and the zinger, really, here is the ginger, hence the, being called the berry mint zinger, <laughs> but see I just kind of cut off the skins like that around the edges, 
and then sort of to give my ghetto blender a break here, I'm, oh, I shouldn't use that kind of terminology. That's not a good pun at all. Um, in order to not give my ghetto blender a break, <laughs> I'm cutting it up a bit <clears throat> to relieve stress so that I can keep this thing going until I get my Vitamix. <laughs> you got that? Till I get my Vitamix. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so in goes that. And before I put in the spinach, we're going to go ahead and just do a little blend to get the level down here because it's getting pretty. And blender can do it, it just takes a little more effort and sometimes a bit more water so I'm gonna just do that and I got a bit more water to uh, add to this hopefully give it a little more best up That's what I'm talking about. Okay, <clears throat> now before we get that to blended, I've got to get those greens in there because this particular blender, well, it, it blends the greens somewhat, but they're still pretty chunky and chewy. So, uh, you've got to really give it a good spin in this thing to to get it chopped up enough. And I like to use lots and lots and lots and lots of greens. <laughs> so, I might even sometimes normally uh, use more greens and less fruit, quite frankly, but since I'm doing this for everyone, I thought I'd make it more fruit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, and also, your good old shop rag. These things, I always keep a whole big pile of clean shop rags in the kitchen because they're perfect for all your, you know, like smoothie making, mango eating, messy, drippy fruit type of dealios and without using like a gazillion paper towels and just wasting a bunch of paper. So shop rags are essential and I highly recommend keeping a stash of them in your kitchen. Plus they're really super absorbent. So when I have like my mango mat, Mango mono meal, especially, these really come in handy. So. so, here is my epic smoothie the green uh, berry mint zinger. Let's see how this goes. Mmm. Mmm. It's chewy. <laughs> oh. That's delicious. And I can just taste how smooth this will be in a Vitamix. Thank you for joining me on my journey into the raw.